echo all over the fucking place. You put the filter on it, and it sounds it sounds like you're talking like directly into like a podcast. Well, you should talk to this. You should hear it. I'll pay for the, the plug. It. I'll pay. It's called Deliberator. I'll, I'll real good. It's like yeah, it takes out like ringtone and uh, Deliberator. I have no idea how it does it. I'll send you the link. It. it was really good. Boom. Done and done. I really, we're kind of starting. It's just been rolling, huh? It's been rolling. Okay. What's up, Josh McCuga Show fans? Back here for another episode. My guest tonight. Um, we started as as frenemies, as just no, what? Just, just dudes, dudes that knew each other. We like they made us compete against each other, and then all of a sudden they were like, you know what? You guys would make great teammates. And yeah. now here we are, best of buds, the best of wild berries, ladies and gentlemen. Elliot Dewberry. Yeah. Big claps, man. Big, Big claps. claps. Big claps. A lot of lot of Wild Berries fans yes. watching. I can Huge tell. Huge Wild Berries fans. I know. Our, I see? just <laughs> put together why you're called the Wild Berries. You didn't know Elliot's <laughs> no, last name. No. I don't why? have my phone on me, but there was a hilarious uh, email chain where we talked about like. So this was uh, essentially the Wild Berries were essentially an arranged marriage. Yes. Which is a concept I'm normally. Uh, Completely against and find, and find quite inhumane. But in the context of uh, the schmo down, <laughs> arranged marriage is good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, like, yeah, Christian was basically like, all right, yeah, Ricky's weighing you down. He doesn't really <laughs> want to do it anymore. Love so, you, Ricky. Like, yeah. We've got a big announcement with Ricky coming kind of soon, which is pretty sweet. We can announce it. We can? Yeah. yeah okay, cool. Oh. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Hey, good. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm actually cutting something. The time that we're recording this, that's okay. releasing this Friday, which by the time this episode has aired, will probably have already happened. Oh, perfect. Okay. The anarchy, the right. anarchy stuff. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, Big go news. For it. Big go news. For it. Ricky on Team Wildberry now. I know. Team Wildberry. It was inevitable. We, yeah, I know. We needed a manager. We needed somebody with a little bit of with a little bit of uh, yeah. cutting edge to him. But yeah, before we came up with Wildberries. Christian's like, all right, you guys are a team. And I, was, I mean, I was stoked. I was like, yeah, I, li I like Josh a lot. And we both have a similar sort of record yeah. in the, the snowdown where, like, we do well, but just, like, kind of, like, get shit on just by yeah. luck. And we also have, like, a similar sense of, like, a yinish yangish kind of a situation, but not really. But I think, I think the biggest reason why we're such a good team mm -hmm. is because we both kind of have the same value system for the Schmodown. Okay. Like, if you go on like the Schmodown Facebook group, okay. some people there take it very, very seriously yes. to the point of treating it I mean, you're looking, like Amanda, baseball Amanda or something. Amanda takes it really seriously. Yeah, and that's fine, and that's fine. I'm just saying those people take it seri more seriously than I do, <laughs> by a very wide margin. I like hanging Us out. Both. I, I like everyone who works at the Collider. <laughs> Collider offices and all the other competitors, and I like hanging out with them. And for I, us, the Schmodown is more about friendship. Yeah, I just like I women. like showing up. It's a nice excuse to like basically dig deep into my childhood, watching the WCW and WWF, mm -hmm. and sort of like pull some of that shit out. Okay. And I mean, I guess I would say my movie knowledge is probably Good. above the like fifty percent public average, but right. like I'm not like touting that as like if a the, part of my life. I just show up, I get some questions right, I get some questions wrong, I get fucking drunk, <laughs> and I don't do it alone. That's true. I do it with someone who treats it pretty much the same way I do. Correct. You are correct. That's why the wild me, berries works. Uh, he told me that he uh, just is really good at acting drunk. It's just like part of his stage Well, that's impressive. He's like, oh, no, babe, I'm not. I'm not drinking. It's not real. I'm just like really good at acting drunk. And then yeah, an, it's, hour, it's, uh... an hour later, like it, the schmodown's done. He's like, hey, what's up, babe? I, I don't know. You want to uh, drive home? Yeah, actually. Uh, the last live event. Actually, it's just O'Doul's the whole time. <laughs> we, uh, yeah. we, uh, is... Amanda, I swear to God, we pour the O'Doul's in cans of Coors. Yeah. <laughs> Beer bong them. We weld them shut again so we can get that. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it, it's all a show. I swear. It's a big swear show. Swear to God. It's a big show. Your husband is not an alcoholic. <laughs> not at all. Not one bit. I've just got rosé in this in this uh, mug here. It's a mm. crisp rosé. Mm. Yeah. I've, I've found myself to really uh, uh, have an affinity now for rosés. That's weird. Why? I still like beers and whiskey. I mean, that's fine. A little summer rosé. I... Me and Dave Damashek talked about have it. Have you been to wine country? Yeah. 
like, have you really like tried everything and like really like done a deep dive, taste test, you know, traveling, going winery to winery? Why the yes. fuck are you drinking rosé? It's delicious. <laughs> Like, I mean, it's, there's so all, much better wine up If there. you're watching this, which you are, in 4K, you're going to see us start Wait, to sweat. Wait, we're shooting this in 4K? Yeah, we're 4K-ish. Well, we're exporting in 1080. Oh, okay. Wow. You guys were just 720 just a year yeah, ago. Yeah, I know. We're, wow. Uh, wow. Look at us now. Here we are. Frank, Frank, you're making a, a... There you go. I'm just wondering why you're not exporting at 4K. <laughs> Here we go. You want to go into why we sh I should export in 4K? A little bit. Oh, I just don't want to. All right. <laughs> Let's just have a conversation behind the camera about yeah. codecs and yeah. uh, file sizes <laughs> yep. Yep. for like five to ten minutes. My terabyte drive is uh, yeah. Um, yeah. No, but uh, no, I like. Uh, stop insulting my. Taste I'm not. Uh, look, it's, listen, I, it's fine. It's fine. Show, if you like, I do what I want. If you like fucking rose, which you do, rose, <laughs> brose, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah. I just personally, I, it is like the last thing like on the list. Okay. Here's, for me. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to set the situation for you. Hot okay. day. You're up in Napa. You're yeah. sweating. Yeah, okay. Like your third okay. winery. Okay. You had enough whites and enough reds. You're like, ooh, you know what okay. I can go for? Ooh, a nice crisp rosé. I'm picturing it. Crisp rosé. You walk out there. You're not in a mug. You have a glass, obviously. You're not a Josh McCuga show mug. You don't carry that around with you at every mm -hmm. winery? Mm -hmm. Ooh, what? I'm getting hints of uh, like an oaky dirt. Dirty oak. Mm. Yeah, ooh, wait. That, what? Mm. Oh, that's crisp. Oh, I'm not even sweating anymore. This goes, it matches my pink pants, my wine tasting pants perfectly. You, okay. The, the pants does actually sell it. Yeah, okay, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine that you like rosé. I'm just saying Thank it's, you. like, for me, the idea of rosé is, uh, it's a non-starter. <laughs> but I, I mean, look, I do appreciate you had one Yingling left left just for in you. the fridge. Did you bring this from no they, Pennsylvania? Yingling was awesome enough to send it to me. I will reach out again what? and be like, "Hey, we've been drinking this on my show. All my friends have been freaking out. Can you guys send me some more Yingling? Yeah, That'd be amazing. Because okay, if you're if you're somehow not aware, Yingling is the oldest continuously running brewery in America. Correct. And they've managed to survive and remain completely independent of the big beverage corporations by just keeping their operations small and regional, um, which is awesome. And I admire it from a business perspective, but it's frustrating as a Californian because you can't get it out here right. because they're but it's like they're not going to do it. It's like In and Out, right? Is yeah. they won't go places where they don't trust the beef supplier, and Yingling yeah. doesn't want to produce Yingling outside of Pottsville, Pennsylvania. That's what it is. I I do wish like so. But if I, you ever go to Pottsville, Pennsylvania, first of all, oh, it's why amazing. would I accept to visit Yingling? Correct. But when you walk, when you get into Pottsville, Pennsylvania. First of all, it just smells like beer, and it's amazing. Like, the town has this, like, wafting, like, fermenting barley and oats. I mean, if you like that smell, you'll love that. I do like that smell, which is and weird. And the brewery I've, is fantastic. I've done a lot of brewery tours where, you, you know, you walk in, and, like, it's not a clean, pretty process. There's uh, you got that, like, hot sort of hops, like you're wet hop smell. I like that smell. And it's, like, I also like the smell of, like, Weed. I like the smell of weed more than I like smoking weed. I don't really like smoking weed anymore, but I like the smell of weed. I and I, I wish I need. I actually really do like the smell. Yeah, of weed. I love yeah. the smell of. Maybe it's like a signal, like, hey, something cool's happening here. Yeah. People would, <laughs> people wouldn't be smoking weed if, uh, if it wasn't cool here. But like, it's almost to the point. Like, I, I was a big pothead like way back in the day. Sure. I can't do it anymore because like, like we're going... responsibility ruined my ability to mm. enjoy weed. Mm -hmm. uh, paranoia got you? It's not even just paranoia. It's like existential shit. It's just no. like, why the fuck are you doing this right now and not fucking advancing your career, you fucking idiot? Yeah. You got a bunch of things you need to do right now that you haven't done. That's why I, I, I have to really be careful with the edibles because I start thinking about stuff and then I'm like, I'm just going to walk into the ocean. You yeah. Know, like it's, it, it gets me way too thinky. But like with edibles, I, I like the taste that yeah. like that slight like sour right. kind of like taste that you get from edibles. I like that. I wish I could add that to food without getting high. Mm. I would do that. Mm. Someone should invent that. You Just know what I, I love? See, I love candy in general, right? Love well, gummy yeah, candy, of course. sour We pumpkin, were all kids all once. Well, yeah. But if you ever go, if somebody's like, hey, I've got these like gummy sour worms. Uh, and I was like, oh, they're amazing. Like they're full of weed. I was like, even better. This is the greatest thing ever. Funny you should mention that. that this literally happened to me. 
last Friday. Oh. I was at a uh, was at a show at a venue called the Satellite in Silver Lake. Ah, lovely. Um, and you are uh, kind of a Silver Lakeish guy. You look Silver Lake. I mean, right no, that's that's my neighborhood. I yeah. can't, you know, There's guilty. nothing wrong. Guilty. With it. Uh, I was standing outside between sets, and a uh, lovely gentleman in like a full white dapper suit and a straw hat and a basket walked up with a basket full of edibles. He's like, hello, gentlemen, may I interest you in some uh, completely legal marijuana products? And I was, I was delighted by this. It's your local like, favorite it, it, delivery <laughs> guy. I, yeah, I was just like, I, I don't even smoke weed, but I will gladly buy, uh, and I looked at my wallet, I only had a $5 bill. I was like, what can I get for $5? And he gave me this little tiny bag of like five gummy bears. And I was like, delightful. I'm glad I could contribute to a local business. Babe, we should go to Silver Lake more often. And I, uh, I, I was like, how, how strong could this $5 worth of gummy bears be? Yeah. It turns out, <laughs> quite strong. And... Uh, you know, I, I was I had already been drinking and I continued drinking. So you know the cross smash fade thing. Cut. Don't yeah. stop. Later. No smash cut. I'm waking up and being like, oh fuck, what did I do last night? <laughs> and luckily, it turned out it just made me really happy and just like easy go lucky. <laughs> but that's that's a gamble with me. Like I've a... had some blackouts where I wake up and they're like, Elliot, you were a fucking asshole last yeah, night. Yeah, yeah, I could see that. Not not you. I'm just saying like I'm, I mean, that's wrong. I shouldn't have said that. You're yeah. my partner in this. <laughs> This whole it's mess. true, though. No, I uh, the the edible thing is really fun in the sense of I've always been the dude. I'm like, I think it's working. You know what? I'll have another one. You know, just to be sure. And then it's <laughs> like <laughs> naked snow angels and Big Bear. You know, something like yeah. that. It's it ju- it definitely escalates it a weird thing. It's not like a graph in math. You know, when like you were taught math and like when this. Like economics, like this graph hits this graph and this graph hit when at this point you're perfect. Like when the edible and your life hits here, you're like awesome. But then the edible goes all the way here and your life's over here. And you're like, oh no. Yeah, it's like it's like trying and to that was shoot. was a terrible comparison. It's like trying to shoot two bullets. Uh, yes, midair. It's probably it's not going to happen. Never going to work. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but hey, you guys are welcome. You guys have heard nothing that you people have been tweeting me like, "Hey, you got to get Ellie on the show and talk about like his origin story." I'm like, "He's not Wolverine." I I've, I've been wanting to come on here for a while and Long also time. also like there I mean, since you sort of started picking up steam again, I've been watching just a ton of the show, the newer ones and the older ones. Thanks, man. Just like while I play video games. Oh. And it, it, but here's the sad just reason. Just listening to it? Well, there's a weird, well, weird sad reason why it's so comforting and enjoyable to me. What is that? And that's because people in Los Angeles don't, they're not good at hanging out with each other. Yeah. And you have a lot of people who I, I'm acquainted with and know, people who in any other universe I would probably just be like, hey, let's hang out and like do this. Right. But it's a weird world and I'm a pussy and like, so <laughs> it's just like, I'll just watch, you know, I, I, I watch my friends' shows more than I hang out with my friends. <laughs> it's fucked up. That's kind of an LA thing. Yeah, That's kind no, of an it LA is. Thing. It is. Yeah, because we we're talking all the time, like, yo, we got to get drinks, we got to do this, but here we are. Like, yeah, drinking, no. You, as soon as you said a camera was involved, I trotted on over yeah, exactly. like a fucking whore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is fucked up. All right, let's let's. <laughs> it's not. I, it is. I'm it okay is with it. I'm okay it is. With yeah, it. it is what it is. I'm it just is saying, it like, is. it's. It is. Uh, it's weird. Like when you have when you when you're doing this shit, it's like, uh, yeah, you just you gotta be selfish. Yeah. To a degree. To a degree. You gotta be Plus, because time like is mo- like time is. Um, yeah. It's like it's hard to really relegate time to stuff. All I mean, because if you were so like, let's go get drinks, let's get, do this, let's do this. My nights would be busy all the time, and I'd like spending time with my wife. I like like the yeah, down exactly, I like Exa- especially like yeah, being married, like which <laughs> I which I recently became myself. Yeah, yeah. that that <laughs> woo, he did it. <laughs> but like once once you do that, yeah, it becomes. Uh, I mean, you're now you're now sort of beholden to another person Correct. who you. You, your pitch for yourself to them was, I'm not a piece of shit. Right. So you have to, you have to sort of like yeah. maintain that. Or it's they're like gonna for be richer, like, for poorer, for sickness and health, I'm not a piece of shit. Yeah. I do. Yeah. Right. And it's also like, hey, I haven't just been pretending I'm not a piece of shit this whole time it's actually... and waiting for you to sign that document so I can become bam, the piece bam, of bam, shit. Bam, 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 bam. Um, I mean, you can do that, but, yeah. you know, that's their greatest fear. Agreed. So, hey, you shouldn't. Well, listen, I love hanging out with you. doesn't yeah. matter if it's a show, 
uh, or Smowdown or whatever. Yeah. We always have a good time. Uh, I, it's it's funny, I think, in like this whole thing that, that two dudes just kind of came together that were in an arranged marriage and it worked. It's like yeah. it coming to America. Arranged marriage works. <laughs> Kids, don't get into arranged marriages just in game nope. shows on internet Trust channels. your dad. He knows. As long as your dad is Christian Harloff. <laughs> um, we're going to play a game tonight. Uh, we've, uh, listen, we I, work I, in, I, in a nerdish world. You got a, lot of, you got a couple games. Which yeah. one you, which we're one playing you got I Need me? a Hero, which is, uh, I'm, okay, so I Need a Hero. <laughs> He's like, oh, you got a lot of games. Never heard of this fucking yeah. one. Okay. So, oops, a daisy. What the fuck are you doing? I got things. Whoa. Hey, that's okay. a nice box. Yeah. Um, it was a cigar box, but I don't buy cigars enough, so I just make it a part of the show. Um, so inside he of this... He just uses props from around our house that I have nicely put on bookshelves for a reason. And he then he just them. grabs it and uses it for a purpose it was not made for. I love that she says that it was that we were using it for something. Elliot, it's just sitting there as Either a Either way, decoration. it's a shelf chachi. It, what shelf exactly was it on? It Point it out. It's up by the Bo Jackson. It's a decoration. No one would have even fucking seen it. It's no. fine. It's See, fine. Elliot. It's true, but here's Amanda, the thing. Amanda, I'm going to need when you to concede back, this one. <laughs> when he puts it back, it's never back the right way. Okay. Oh, All right. See, there you go. Yeah, this has to, the, the humidor. Yeah. Even though, oh, what's the humidity of these scraps of paper inside? <laughs> we need to know. <laughs> they're still they're still crisp. They're in mint condition. We need to know. I need to monitor this situation. Okay, so here's how this works. I'm going to give, there's, there's fake superheroes that I've made up in here. I mean, hell, there could be real ones. Right? Okay. There's many superheroes that yeah. are out there right now. Cobster's kind of shrugging himself. Um, and you have to make up what their superpowers is. Give me their, like, backstory, origin story, whatever the case may be. Um, have fun with this. And yeah. uh, we'll, we'll write their story. There's, like, we'll 20 in there. Like, uh, how long do you want to take well, we'll this? Do, we'll do, like, three or four. <laughs> okay. And then we'll do, we'll do some rapid fire. We'll do, like, three or four long ones, and we'll do rapid fires. All right. Okay. So I have to write the superhero origin story and I powers. I need a story. hero! Elliot Dubarry. Miss Hummus. Miss what? Miss Hummus. Miss Hummus. The, uh, the, the garbanzo bean yeah. uh, I'm allergic. Dip. I'm allergic to it. So Miss Hummus was born in Iran. Oh. In the very oppressive 1980s in oh, yeah. Iran. During the Ayatollah. During the Ayatollah. Like, things were bad for Miss Hummus. Brutal, brutal. She couldn't leave the house alone. They're like, where's your husband? Where's <sighs> your father? She couldn't drive. Nothing's and, uh, you know, obviously, this put a lot of stress on Miss Hummus. Yeah. So she would go home and just open that hummus and just, you know, drown her sorrows in... RB3 is that, he's umming over there. Yeah. He likes it. We can all relate to Miss Hummus. Uh, my wife loves hummus. I love Frank, hummus. Frank, do you like hummus? Uh, I do. Okay. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. This is an international story, but it's okay. very relatable. Got it. Okay. For all yeah, audiences, when do even American powers audiences. kick in exactly? Okay, so she's eating this hummus out of stress, getting bigger and bigger and bigger <laughs> and bigger. And then the CIA shows up. No one talks about this because no one knows about it. But the CIA, trying to assassinate the Ayatollah, fires a radiation gun directly at him. But she happens to walk by, and since she is quite large off of all of the hummus, she gets shot by the radiation Whoa. gun. But... Unlike how the CIA predicted, the radiation gun doesn't kill her. It only makes her stronger. Oh. And now she's just really strong. It really has nothing to do with hummus. It's oh. just like the fact that like she ate so much she hummus. She was so big, she took up yeah, such a yeah. space that the gun was able to Now she's quite strong. Uh, she's a strong woman, very independent. Ah. They don't mess with her much anymore. Great storytelling. Um, I like that. You know, I, would, and, uh, someone, I would watch that movie. Yeah. Yeah, Cops I mean, this is isn't like some big picture. It, this isn't right? Avengers. It's like Daredevil. Okay. It's small picture. Got it. Got it. Small picture. Silver <laughs> yeah. screen. Maybe Netflix, Amazon Prime. Yeah. Over the course of one season, maybe she like finds a missing dog. If okay. you could somehow make it a procedural, I am in. Miss Hummus in a procedural. Miss Hummus. Miss Hum Miss Hummus. N C I S C I S C S I Hummus. Oh, also like because of her power, like because of the way, like there's no logic to it, but it's like if she stops eating hummus, she loses her powers. So she has to constantly come up with new hummus recipes, oh. and that's a big central part of the show, gotcha. the procedural show. Each episode features a new hummus recipe. And what that if you she can decides make home. to get healthy and start eating like a white bean dip mm -mm. instead of hummus? Mm -mm. Gotta be hummus. Mm -mm. No room for that. <laughs> there are crimes to solve. <laughs> All right, please. All right, so that's Miss Hummus. Miss uh, Hummus. <laughs> so that's Miss Hummus. Captain Cliff Bar. Captain Cliff Bar. 
Oof. Fun thing about Clapton, Captain Cliff Bar is his Ooh. story is the exact same as oh. his. his I think Boom. he likes hiking, yeah. don't you think? Um, no, yeah, he, uh, Captain Cliff Bar, world class hiker, mountain climber, uh, mountaineer. Ice, ice climber? Yeah, okay. he does it all. He is outdoors all the time. Big at REI. Yeah, he's you can outdoors. Everything. He's outdoors so much that he has stage three skin cancer oh, no. because he never put the sunscreen on. So while in the hospital oh. for his life-threatening disease, yeah. the only food he can keep down is his trusty Cliff Bar, oh. the same food that he digested out there in the wilderness. Yes, when he really needed that extra push. Yep. To climb that extra step. Yep. Um, and then. Uh, you know, Miss Hummus shows up and she's like, "Let's get you out of here." Yeah, are these? Let's go is fight some crime. Also, I can cure cancer. Foods? That's one of my powers. I'm Miss Hummus. <laughs> Miss Hummus. Okay. Two superheroes in, and we've got a shared universe already. It's already. Yeah. This well, is bigger yeah. than DC. This is huge. Yeah. All right. Okay. This is the uh, the the food shared universe. The they, food well, superheroes. I didn't are make them both food, food based. Themed? No. Oh. They are, because the next one's Breath Mint Man. <laughs> so this is the food superhero shared universe. I did not do this intentionally, but usually I write these while I'm eating. So. All right, uh, Breath Mint Man. Breath Breath Mint Man, when he was a child, he was on a long flight to Asia a with his family. Tests. His dad was an international businessman. They were flying to Singapore. Okay. And, uh, this is the best part about the apartment talk shows. You can get a little... Yeah, air it out. Yeah. A little air coming in. We could Woo! all... This whole apartment could use a breath mint man Woo! right now. Yeah. So breath mint man, or breath mint boy at this I'm point. So he's traveling with his family. Here. They're flying to Singapore. Because of, you know, the booking, breath mint Fiction boy... Mike. Breath mint boy, he's in a different aisle. He's in a different seat than his parents. His parents, his parents are sitting together. This is how professional this show is. It's Fix great. your mic. It's great. You need to hear. Oh no. Breathman's parents, they're That's sitting good. there. Good. They're sitting there in the yeah. aisle. And the person next to them, he's coughing all over the place. Oh, but he's no. not just coughing. He's a supervillain. Oh no. Mr. Bad Breath. Mr. Bad Breath. And he coughs on them and <gasps> they fucking die. Oh no. So Breathman <laughs> Breath Mint Boy, who fortunately is a billionaire. Yeah. He <laughs> and in stands to inherit a lot. Mm-hmm. Uh you know, he takes it upon his mission to, uh, you know, promote uh, a strong immune system and good breath, mm. and starts a company called Breath Mint Man, which sells, uh, you know, affordable breath mints in most 7-Eleven supermarkets. He's not really a superhero. He just kind of becomes obsessed with fresh breath after that and makes that his career. Okay, so Miss Hummus <laughs> is just a strong woman who likes hummus. Uh, Breath Mint Man is a businessman that just wants to eliminate bad breath. Yeah, he's friends with Mr. Coffee yeah. and all the rest. <laughs> all right, let's do one more here. All right. <laughs> Mug Man. Mug Man. Mug Man. Um, Mug Man. So Mug Man, uh, he steps into a... Uh, Steps into a nuclear reactor while working at the nuclear reactor. He's a, he's an intern. He doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. <laughs> steps steps in there while holding his coffee mug, and and uh, it turns his body into a mug. Okay. Um, so it's like it's hard to describe, but he has his face on the front. It's very large, but like the if you look down at him from the top, it's just sort of hollow. You can feel it liquid in there, okay. like a lot of it. So like. He can feel like really hot liquid and like throw it at people. Yeah, or really cold liquid. So, uh, <laughs> Mug Man, he's like, well, I could do a lot of things with this. You know, I could put out fires or whatever. But also the fact that it was a mug, and this town has a problem Thanks, with Mike. M- muggers. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna use it to fill my face up with boiling hot water. Yes. And go walk around dark alleys waiting for muggers, and then. Give them third degree burns with my hot water. <sighs> Mugman. Mugman. RB3 approves of Mugman. Babe Mugman? Yeah. Frank Mugman? As long as the sequel is titled Mugman 2 Refilled. Oh, that yeah. is good. I mean, it's been decided. That's Mugman 3, Keurigs are back. Okay, awesome. Here we go. Uh, let's do <laughs> last one real fast. Last one real okay. fast. I'm going to pick it for you. Yeah, you pick it. Okay, here we go. Here we go. 
Oh, oh, oh! It's the Carpet Crusader. The Carpet Crusader. It's like the Cape uh, Crusader, but with carpet. yeah. Once again, the person uh, I'm describing is not actually a superhero. He's just a businessman. He goes from door to door selling carpet. Uh, people are like, "Oh my God, my dog pissed all over my carpet. I spilled some wine. Who can get this stain out?" Well, guess what? You call one eight 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 Carpet Crusader. He'll be there within the next half a day, and you won't believe how clean your carpets are gonna look. Because the Carpet Crusader, you know, he's not looking out just for himself. He's looking out for you. He has secrets to get the stains out. And that actually traces back to his childhood, where both of his parents were suffocated by carpet. By a carpet. Uh, this was in the age of shag carpets in the 80s. That happened. His parents, they were a little drunk. They tripped, landed face first in the carpet. Dead. Dead. Just... <laughs> They tried to breathe. The, the carpet just got further and further down their throats. Yeah. They died. Yeah. And here he was. Or probably that shag carpet probably had asbestos in it too back then, right? You know, he, he just riddled with it. Yeah. And so, yeah. The carpet crusader, carpet boy. Obviously, so his parents were obviously filthy rich. So he's a billionaire now. Uh, They're all really rich. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's well, weird how that works. That's a superhero. That's how that fucking yeah. works. Um, sorry, poor people, but like. <laughs> The thing about being a superhero is you need access to a lot of money. <laughs> so anyway, Carpet Boy, <laughs> he, uh, you know, his parents say they die a tragic death, choking on their own vomit and shag carpet. Oh, uh, he, he, inherits, he inherits a billion dollars, and uh, he decides he's not going to let this ever happen again. He's going to fight by starting a company called the Carpet Crusader. Uh who cleans people's carpets. Done. See, that's just, I need a hero. Really beautiful. Yeah. Elliot Dewberry, yeah. the other half of the wild berries. And um, he'll, he'll beat anyone's price, or your carpet cleaning is free. Free, smart. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, uh, before we get into rapid fire, uh, we'll do a couple advertisements. You wanna do a quick one for Yingling? Go ahead. Uh, Yingling is America's oldest brewery. You know how uh, a portion of the population right now says they wish America was great again. Well, those people are fucking morons, but they're right about one thing. Back in the day, we had breweries that didn't sell out to international corporate interests. Well, Chills. guess what, guys? We still do have a few of those. And one of those is Yingling. And you might be looking at this being like, you Yinglang? I can't read that. Well, guess what? The family that set up Yingling, they were from Germany, so you know, you're just gonna, they, they tried to make it easier for you. You used to start with a J, and you're just gonna have to fucking deal with it. Everyone knows how you say Yingling, so just calm the fuck down. And, this uh, advertisement has gone off the rails. And, and uh, you know what? Yingling, they've been selling the same shit for generations. And it's delicious. I believe now it's run by a woman. Or it might be. I know the heir, the... Uh, the, the last Yingling, he only had, like, daughters, so he was, like, you know, training them to take over the business. It's a fa family business. Family business. Uh, so uh, a very great American company, independent, not beholden to corporate interests, not going to pee in your beer like all those other people. <laughs> not saying they do, not saying they don't, but Just I'll tell you what. Might. Yeah. Not, not trying to hide the fact that there's dead rats in their beer like some people. You're looking directly at cops or like he runs a brewery. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it's Yingling. Check it out. Put it in your mouth. Before we, before we move on, um, just a quick heads up. Alex is really serious about this guy. You are gunning for this man's jo job. Josh McCuga for Jeopardy. <laughs> hashtag it. There's a four in there. Hashtag it. There you go. He's, he's, also, he's also pondering it. Uh, he's thinking about it. Uh, Josh McCuga for Jeopardy. Tweet it. Uh, Instagram it. Facebook it. I also... What just, is destiny? D what is destiny? I'll, I'm just going to put this on the desk for the rest of the show. I framed it. There you, you know, go. when he said 2020, when he said, like, I think 2020, yeah. like, I immediately was just like, he's not running for fucking president, is he? <laughs> <laughs> he's 80. I mean, like, that would be kind of cool he's in Canadian. any other year. He's oh, he is? Yeah, he's Canadian. I did not know that. Yeah. Trebek, Canadian. That explains his patience. So if you guys are out there and you'd like me to, you'd like me to, to be the next host of Jeopardy. It's yeah, dream make job. Jeopardy American again. <laughs> <laughs> That's me. Uh, tweet it, hashtag it. 
Josh Mahuga for Jeopardy, Elliot Dewberry, that my partner You are crime. sweaty. Oh, that's what I do. How sweaty is the shirt? Does it look bad? Not the shirt, it's your face. Oh, yeah. Probably my face, too. He's not much of a sweater. I mean, his face sweats and, like, the middle of his back. Yeah, it's like the hairline seen... and then the cheeks. But, but I've never actually seen him sweat in his armpits. I apologize for the sound. That's nice, actually. I apologize for the really sound nice. on this episode. If it sounds sweaty or I look sweaty, that's what you guys... Listen, it's summertime here in it's LA. What I live we with don't people. have central AC and we can't run it during the show because the sound sounds terrible. But yeah. we may be able to get it based solely on a recommendation from Elliot Dewberry, the king of Ying Ling. See what I did there? Ooh. All right, it rhymes. Here we go. Three minutes. Cubs, are you ready? Three, two, one. Okay. Uh, do, do, do you know how to tie a bow tie? No. Do you own, uh, if you owned a bar, what would you call it? Oh, God. Uh, drinks here. <laughs> You ever kick down a door? Kick it down? Like a cop? No. No, I wish I had. If Disneyland, Disney World, is Disneyland, Disney World, the happiest place on earth? No. Correct. Best fast food french fries? French fries? Yeah. Uh, McDonald's. Yeah, smart. If you had a band, what would you call it? I do have a band. It's called Cold Violets. Check Cold us out on the internet. Cold Violets. Nailed Whoa. it. Whoa. Uh, do you wash your hands after the bathroom every time? Every time? No. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, no. <laughs> what celebrity would you like to speak at your funeral? Oh, God. Someone who's going to be alive when I'm dead? Uh, Finn Wolfhard. I feel like he's going to be like pretty big by then. Yeah. I'm going to reserve it now. Good, you, there you go. Uh, you ever been kicked out of a bar? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, me too. Uh, not, not recently, but it was a Back thing for a while. Yeah. Yeah. You and my brother should have hung out. Uh, you ever painted a picture? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I minored in art in college. Here's I a painted a lot of pictures. Beer or wine? You majored in art in college? Minored. Oh, minored. Majored in film production. I minored in art. I used to paint a lot. Oh, man. Uh, and then, like Rachel McAdams in The Notebook. I used to paint. You know how they say, like, oh, like, if you don't, like, if you don't use your talents, you're going to lose them. They're absolutely fucking right <laughs> <laughs> when they say that, because I, yeah. uh, I mean, I could probably still do it, but, mm. Okay. You ever said, let's go out dancing? No. Uh, can you play an instrument? Yeah. Oh, well, you're in a band. A couple. Goodfellas or Godfather? Goodfellas, but that's what, that's just because you didn't say Godfather 2. Okay. Do you, uh, do you still call Shotgun? No. Queso dip or guacamole? Mm. I'm going to go with guac. Okay. So I love them both. Soap or body wash? Body wash. Favorite SNL cast member? Ooh, uh, Bill Hader. Uh, Happy Gilmore or B- Billy Madison? Did you say one minute? Yeah, one minute. Oh, God. Uh, happy Gilmore. Uh, how, how do you want to die? <laughs> that came out of nowhere. Uh, that's not really a rapid-fire question. That's yeah, that's, like, a, that's, that's a, a little deep, heavy. That's deep. How do I want to and, die? And why I does anybody want peacefully? to die? That came, I, I don't <laughs> terrible, remember, it's been on here for years. Question, I don't think I've ever asked it. All right, my peacefully bad. and quickly. Peacefully and quickly. Uh, do you moisturize? Not as often as I need to, but Back, I do. Backyard or front yard? Backyard. What the fuck is the point of a front yard? Thirty seconds. Uh, Andre the Giant or Hulk Hogan? Thirty seconds. Andre for sure. Steve Urkel or Stefan Urkel? Pass. <laughs> uh, Sabrina the Teenage Witch or Clarissa? Clarissa. Do you kill baby Hitler? Yeah, it would be hard, but I'd do it. <laughs> boxing or UFC? Fifteen <laughs> seconds. Uh, I hate them both, but yeah. boxing. Do you get car sick? When I'm hungover. Corner flour tortillas. Five. Flour. Uh, do you listen to music that isn't popular? Yes. Alligator or crocodile? That's it. Alligator, because they're American. <laughs> <laughs> Elliot Dewberry. <laughs> it's hot. It's that hot, hot heat of the yeah. Doobies. Uh, your new show, What's Up Internet? No, that's, that's, that's not what I call it. Here, here comes the internet. What's up, internet? Here comes the internet. <laughs> These are all probably internet better today. Clearly, probably better names than yes. Internet today. Show. Internet today. There you go. More. You guys knew him from Machinima, but you, you know him from the Wildberries. He's yeah. A good so buddy of mine. It started off. We didn't even know each other. Now we're good buddies. Yeah. So we our original uh, the show we ran for like four years was called uh, the ETC show. Yeah. It was. Um, we did our best to hide this, but it was part of a corporate entity, and uh, we are no longer part of that. And um, for. Kind of unrelated reasons. All of those old videos are slowly being deleted from existence. Oh no, which sucks. But we've just sort of kept going with a new channel that's completely independent and like Patreon supported and uh, all that. And it's uh, Internet Today. I believe it's YouTube.com/InternetTodayTV. It's a lot of oh. news, uh, news commentary, podcast sort of stuff. Um, kind of. Uh, 
lately just been repeatedly stepping in shit with controversial topics like uh, free speech and like gun ownership and stuff, and it's been fun. Uh, <laughs> He's a so, controversial guy. Yeah, I like it. I like it. He likes it. Um, yeah, check that out, please. Well, I would hope you'd like it because you run it. Internet yeah, it's today. my. It is. I am a. I am a small businessman. There you go. A very small businessman. Guys, uh, first of all, man, I love you, and uh, I thank you for being on the show. We've been talking about doing this forever. We got to do it again. Yeah, no, and please. I like it. It honestly, we've been talking about having me on here since this was between the sheets, yes. like years it's, ago. It's three years. So, like, yeah, I'm so glad we finally just we did it. <laughs> stop both being lazy about doing that and and got it done. And I, I absolutely want to come back. Yeah. Um, and you got to get Ricky on too. Yes, for sure. Um, but yeah. Well, the next time when Ricky comes on, we'll put you in the audience so you guys can like heckle kind of in the situation. That'd be pretty fun. It would be fun. All right, you guys. Uh, Josh Mahuga show here on YouTube. Um, before we get out of here, hey, Amanda, support Amanda his like, Patreon. Yeah, Amanda likes to critique the show. Oh, she, uh, please. Well, not critique. She wants to give her opinion. We're here, Frank, uh, who you guys know from Clyder, one of the great. No, Frank. No, no, Frank, Frank, Frank. Yeah. Frank, we want you, you to. to we want your... you to give your opinion about the show as well. Uh, we'll start with Amanda. Amanda, how do you think it went? I thought it went really well. I, you know, I feel kind of silly not knowing that uh, Wildberries was because your last name is Dewberry. That makes, I Wild just, man, like, wow. Dewberry. I makes, never even got yep, to the other ideas we so had much for sense. names. No, we had a bunch. They were uh, all very bad. Yeah. But you guys also kind of look alike right now. Like, is this just me? I mean, Josh, you have a little more gray in your hair, but Definitely. you have the same facial more. hair I'm happening. catching up. He's got none. No, you yeah, I got, like, stray white hairs down here. It's very You don't annoying. have many. No. I yeah. liked the Yingling reference or the the advertisement? commercial advertisement. Yeah, yeah. Okay. what do you call that? Uh, um, endorsement. I had, a, I had a long day today, Personal guys. Um, I thought it was great. Love your shirt. I, I like both your shirts. I actually. bought this in I the Philippines, and we didn't even get to talk about it. Black trip to the we'll Philippines. Do, we'll do episode two soon. I went we'll to a cockfight. Yeah, yeah, we'll talk about that oh, some other time. Oh wow. Yeah. Um, I love the superheroes. They sound great. Honestly, got a craving for hummus now. Mm. Um, and Josh, I do love your shirt. I usually hate them, but I was with you when you picked it out, and I approved it. You hate his it's shirt? Like cool. he, he he wears full suits that look like this. <laughs> well, How no, do you feel I, about that? I don't she really hate anything shirt. he does. Obviously, I married him, so I, you know that'd be bad. That's interesting. But I don't. I do, I definitely That's don't approve of all the outfit choices. I just kind of like tolerate them. Yeah. Uh, but this one I okay. like. It looks okay. nice. I kind of like you have a little open. You have like a little hair popping through. You're really I've been getting, swinging through everything. Yeah. Though. Showing yeah. it off tonight. I've been like, poor RB3 has been having to listen to this mic. Just like, <laughs> chest hair. It's like sort of wet. Just like, yeah. <laughs> man, it's probably going to short it out on me. What do you think, Frank? Your first time in the audience? You've been, you, you've been a fan of the show. I didn't even know. Word for word, that was exactly what I was going to say. Oh, man. So I'm gonna Come screw on, Frank. Me. Think for yourself. All right. Well, A, this is the greatest honor I've ever known being here. <laughs> Uh, if I had to critique the show, I'd say that I absolutely detested you when you walked in the door. And now by the end of this, I'm kind of a fan. <laughs> so, that's, that's, that is the impression. I, I, I am the worst the first impression, impression yeah. person uh, on the face of the earth. Like, I've literally, like, there's been people I've met who, like, a year later will be like, yeah, I just, like, thought you were kind of a fucking dick. But that's just how you acted the first, like, moment I met you. I'm like, okay, cool. So that's just sort of a thing. I don't even know how to work on that, though. It's, it's like a weird, it's just built into me like it's, it it's a it's an essence it's a vibe it's the le it's a vibe i show up and people are just like fuck you <laughs> the le essence yeah guys thanks for watching the josh movie show you guys can follow us on twitter subscribe to the channel patreon all that kind of fun stuff we'll see you next time subscribe to the channel follow me on twitter and instagram Go to Facebook, I'm also there. Support our Patreon campaign. If you're watching the Josh McCuga Show, you're doing something right. And that something right is giving random people hugs when they don't want them.